I think I shoot the man is always good times. Of course, unless you're Brian Murray, apparently wasn't that good in the playoffs. Anyway, let's talk about the playoffs. Danny Heatley, Jason Spencer, thanks for doing OTRs. The Leafs and the Sens coming up on TSN in uh, just over an hour's time. So let's talk about Game 5. Second round, you lose. What do you learn from that, Dan? I think uh, it was the first playoffs for, for a lot of us. I think, uh, you know, they played well. They, they had a hot goalie and... Uh, what did you guys learn about the team, though? Because, because obviously, um, you want to capitalize on the fact that you didn't go all the way as everyone had hoped. So, for, for you guys, what's, what, what do you think you learned? Well, just dealing with the pressure and playing under those situations. We lost three overtime games, and those games could have went anyway. And, you know, we know that we have to you know, maybe be better in the one-goal games. I think it's something that uh, you can only learn through experience. And we got a lot of experience last year by playing in that second round and uh, by playing a good Buffalo team. So let's talk about the two of you guys, because not everything works out perfectly. But the acquisition of Danny Heatley placing you on a line with this guy here obviously worked out great. Amazing seasons for both of you guys. Uh, what does he bring to your game that, that made you more effective? Well, sometimes I think, uh, you know, when you get when you get together with a guy, things just click. And uh, I think it happened real, real, uh, real early for us when we got together. And, uh, he's, he's a player that skates really well and sees the ice and, and always looks for me. And uh, as a shooter, that's exactly what you're looking and, for. And Jason, uh, being on a line with a guy who obviously can put the puck in the net, first time 50 goal scorer for the Ottawa Senators, what does he bring to your game? Yeah, well, you know, I think he's at the best release in the game. And I think uh, when you're a playmaker like I am, and you get a guy with uh, with a shot like that, and they can think the game, and uh, you know, skates well. We're both kind of big guys, so we can play in the corners a little bit. And, uh, and it's obviously nice when you when the team makes a trade and you get a guy that you can uh, mesh with, and you know, you know, he can play well with. So it's fortunate. Last year, uh, the expectations were obviously big on the team, uh, but not quite as much on you guys because it was you know first time for you, and you had never really played full time for for the team. But this year, people are expecting you guys to click and be a dominant line. Are you good with that? I uh, definitely. I think I think we want the pressure. I think that uh, you know we want to be known as one of the best one two combos in the league, if not the best, and that's. A you know, one of the things that makes us go, and I think that, uh, you know, playing on a team like this, we have a lot of talent, and we know that we have a lot of support with us, so it's going to make things easier. I think that's uh, that's right. I think that's exactly where we want to be. We want that heat on us. We want to be in a city where, where we're expected to win, and uh, that's what makes the game fun. So let's have a little fun here, as you put it, as time winds down and we get set for the Leafs and the Sens on TSN. Ready to do a little next question here? Let's go. So let's, for, let's jump all over this. Uh, first question for you guys, who's the better dresser? <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> who, who does better with the ladies? Best. <laughs> I think there's a political reason why you may have said that. Uh, if you guys dropped the gloves and went at it, you really scrapped, who would win? <laughs> it wouldn't be much of a fight. <laughs> I didn't say I'd pay to see, pay to see it. Lightweight both. Yeah. Uh, now, if both of you guys jump Brian McGratton, could you take him, the two of you guys? Definitely. Yeah. Easy. Okay, here's a real question for you. Shara and McGratton. They go at it. Who wins? McGrath. McGrath. Really? Uh, between the two of you, can anyone do a Dominic Hoshik impersonation? No, we leave that up to Razor. <laughs> What's the prettiest goal that Jason, you have ever seen him score? Prettiest goal? Jeez. They're all the same. <laughs> <laughs> They're all just one time. Bob. Actually, no, he scored a nice one here in Toronto. Where he went one in. of four, right? Yeah, one of four that night. We went end to end and tucked it in. And him? Uh, Montreal last year, no question. Who's the dirtiest player in the league right now? Player in the league. I don't know. Who's a dirty player? Next question. Next question. Yeah, I thought you'd bail on it too. Uh, one player in the league has his head down, and you get a clean shot at him. You can you can take a clean shot. No, it's a clean shot, Jason Spencer. Who, who do you lay out? I don't know. I don't, I don't hit anyone. That's the wrong guy. <laughs> Next question. Uh, do you know this man's middle name? Uh, I do. Okay. Uh, Love this. <laughs> Rocco. Rocco is correct. Who's the better cook between the two of you guys? He's, a, he's, he's Italian, probably him. Guys, I got to say, a ton of fun. Thanks for doing this, okay? Thank you. Good luck this season. Jason Spezza, Danny Heatley, we thank these guys. We thank Brian Murray, Mike Peck, and, of course, Paul Maurice. And we remind you, it's the Leafs against these guys. Senators, followed by the Stars and the Avs, the NHL and TSN tonight. Off the record with Michael Lansbury.